Hey guys, it's me Gimpy. I'm back with uh, something a little different for you today. Uh, these are the Lock and Load Tactical Compendiums. All right, I haven't seen, uh, I can't think of any videos, barely anything uh, about these represented online. So I wanted to do just a quick video, a little down and dirty. Hey, these are what they are. These are what they offer your game. You know, here it is, just in case you're interested. You know, yeah, not a big deal about it. I gotta say, when I first read about these, my interest wasn't that peak because I didn't really understand what they were. I know you, you read a book and then you like get a book and you're like, oh, what is it? Um, the neat part about it, all right, is that Lock and Load was uh, owned originally by a different uh, set of people. The company got bought, now it's owned by different people, and they really kind of hit the ground running trying to reinvent the company, republish a lot of stuff, improve the. Uh, uh, component quality of so many of the old games and the tactical games that have been re uh, released. Uh, there's a gentleman that I've been talking to who has one of the older sets of a uh, game that I've done a playthrough on and he has different components in it and his components aren't quite as nice as mine but you know he still enjoys the game. Uh, but there are differences and back in the day they had you know magazine articles and scenarios that got printed online and all that stuff and these are basically the collections of all those things that were printed up back in the day gathered into one book for you to use to add to your games and each one of the games comes with a buttload of scenarios but just like anything you'll run out if it's a finite resource you'll run out of it well these add extra scenarios to each one of your games and it tells you what components you need. So let me uh, let me crack it open so you can see what I'm talking about. All right, here's Compendium One. This is the World War II era, 1939, 1959. Uh, there's two for World War II, and there's two for 1960 to present. And there actually is a um, compendium as well for the White Star Rising uh, game, but I am going to cover that when I actually get White Star to the table. I'll show you the maps. Actually, let me just go ahead and show you the maps before I get down to the book. This is the neat thing that caught me by surprise was how many maps were actually included in these packages. And you can take and go ahead and put them in your boxes. They're the right size to fit. And the neat part is there's two different sets. They include the X maps and the regular size. So if you like the regular size maps, well, bam, you've got them. you got a whole bunch of extra maps. Let's see. Here's This is Compendium 1. You've got one and how many is this two three four five six <coughs> excuse me six and these are all one-sided is this one two-sided yep there's one two-sided map here and then six other just regular sized maps that come with it and then you have them as well let me get it folded up here <coughs> out of the way you've got the X maps version of the maps. I mean, look at it. this came in the book. I can't even fit it in the uh, in the whole frame. See how massive that thing is, and it's the same quality. You can hear it. It's a very thick cardstock, so it's the same quality maps that you get in your games themselves. It's not just cheap little paper maps. It's the <clears throat> same thick cardstock. See, here's the. Uh, Oh, that's not the double-sided one. Here it is. There's another one, 28 there. Uh, side 41. So it's got differences. You got a little beachfront there. I mean, just neat looking stuff. So even if you have a game that you haven't bothered to buy the X maps for, and you want to play on some X maps, you can get a compendium and you've got X maps. You can use it with the battle generator if you want. And these line up just like any of the other maps do. But the neat part what really got to me with it, I mean, I'm dropping it everywhere, is the first half of this is a whole bunch of articles. All right, it goes to about page 63, 61, something like that. Is just a whole bunch of articles that have to do with the game. <clears throat> and I can't be the only one who likes reading this stuff like i love the war game magazines 
and this goes over so many different tactics it goes over uh, examples and play of how you can use it Let's see well, that's one of the others uh, here we go the lock and load tactical tank tactics guide tactical basics checklist for longevity of armor see I will not drive around in open mode within range of small arms fire it's a good idea I will not go closer than three hexes to positions of possible infantry AT assets. And you know, it just goes on down the line here with more stuff for you. Again, more pictures and examples. And it's all these cool articles that were written back in the day. And it's made with the same type material that your uh, rule books are made out of. You can see the binding there is very nice, square style, uh, just like the rule books. And it's just page after page of pictures and articles. Uh, there's some history in here as well. The Imperial Japanese Army in World War II and Heroes of the Pacific. I mean, it's just neater than hell, all the stuff that comes in this. So it's not just for any one game. It adds so much to all the games. And if you're like me and you want to collect out all of them, you can make so much use out of these compendiums with everything that adds. <clears throat> Let's see, how far does it go? Like I said, it was like 63. So there's the scenarios. Yeah, this much of the book, that first part there, all articles, all strategy guides and tactics and history and just cool things that have to do with the substance matter of the game at hand. So viable reading for anyone who's like me, who's interested in this stuff. And here you go, you can see it <clears throat> adding all these uh, scenarios to it. Now, if you look here, see where it says editor's note, the components in this scenario, uh, scenario are from Heroes of Normandy and Heroes of the Motherland. And it's gonna tell you that for each scenario, it's gonna tell you what components you need and from what game they uh, uh, come from. Like this one, all components in this scenario are from Heroes and Defiance. And it shows you, you know, all the little stuff that you need for it, some of it's going to use the old maps, some of it's going to use the new maps. I don't want to show you guys any of the spoiler type stuff, but it's just so cool how much it adds to it. I mean, just look at that. It's another scenario book, basically. <clears throat> and you have so many of these. I think they all come with maps, or maybe it's Compendium 2 doesn't come with maps. Let's take a look in the back here. Uh, yep, this one just includes scenarios. Compendium too, but the rest do come with maps. They're all gonna have the cool articles there at the beginning. You know, basically a magazine for you to read through. Let's see what we're, all we've got in here. So much stuff that it goes over. Ambushed, Pakistani survival uh, strategies and Day of Heroes. Again, more uh, examples, pictures. I could have used that for uh, <laughs> my playthrough the other day when uh, the Somalis got killed. Um, let's see, what is this? A look at heroes of the Falklands, mechanics, units, and tactic, uh, tactical asides. So just neat stuff that it adds to your games. And again, you're gonna flip back to the back side of the book and you've got more scenarios that it adds to it. There you go, Americans, USMC, that's where it's at, baby. Let's take a look at some of these other maps that come in some of the other ones. So you guys can see some of that. Oh, it's packed in too tight. Pull it out. All right, this is volume three. This is the other one that is uh, World War II era. And again, you see, you get both sets of the maps. Just in case you like playing with the smaller ones, you've got your smaller maps here. So you've got six new maps to play with. And this one, and you get them in the X maps. This is what really gets to me here is the fact that it has the X maps as well as the regular maps because they could have just sent the regular size maps with the compendium and made the X maps an op uh, optional purchase for the compendium, but they didn't. They included both to leave it up to the purchaser on who, uh, on what they wanted to use, and I really like the fact that they did that. I look at these things. Look at this mess. It's beautiful. Don't you just want to fill them full of tanks and units and just start blasting away and rolling your dice? 
We'll take one more look here at the last compendium just to see what types of uh, maps come in that one. And this is, again, the uh, other modern one that comes with it, 1960 to present. And this one actually, I think, just came in for me the other day, so I haven't even opened this one or looked at it yet. Again, you're gonna have a front full of just cool articles, pictures, uh, explaining things, men with painted faces, article there. I mean, just so much cool stuff it has in here. Nom scenarios. See, here we go, some more stuff on Mogadishu. That's Day of Heroes. And this is actually the one that I'm getting ready to play now. Uh, short primer on the French and heroes against the Red Star. That's the one that I've got on the table now. And uh, getting ready to film the last turn. And again, you take and you flip to the back. And what do you know? More scenarios. Look at this. More scenarios for <clears throat> um, Day of Heroes, which I thoroughly enjoyed. More scenarios for this one is Heroes of Nam. You can see right there. And maps for it war for heroes of nam and it's just like the others it has um events that can happen uh, all that ne uh, neat stuff that goes on with the game you can use these maps in the uh <clears throat> battle generator Let's see where's uh this one another heroes of nam this one looks like it has a lot of the heroes of nam and uh day of heroes this one has uh, Heroes of Defiance and Heroes Against the Red Star, NATO units, scenario called Thundering Hooves. And I just love how they got all this stuff packaged together for you to enjoy. Let's take a look at some of these maps here. I mean, look at all these new maps for you to use. We've got a little desert map here, a bunch of jungle. I'm assuming all these jungle ones are for uh, Heroes of Nam. <clears throat> but anyway, that's the uh, the general gist of what you get in each of these uh, compendiums. They each come with a bunch of cool stuff, cool articles. For me, honestly, I would buy the books alone for the articles because I love the wargaming magazines that have historical articles and then tactics and strategies for the war games that you're playing and extra scenarios. Uh, extra counters. I know that the uh, compendium for White Star Rising actually comes with uh, two sheets of extra counters and more maps. So if you have White Star Rising, that is one to definitely check out. I'll have to make sure and uh, show a video <coughs> of that one for you guys soon. But just the sheer amount of playtime that these add, even if you just like the old style or you like the new style and you just get you know the two that match with you you're getting a mess load of extra scenarios extra maps and cool little stuff to play with so i just wanted to show you guys that and let you see that it's a bunch of cool awesome stuff that you can play with and uh, articles that are fun to read especially for people who are into uh, military stuff but anyway that's it uh, you guys stay tuned i will have the first turn of heroes of the red star should be up uh tomorrow or uh the day after and if you guys have any other requests or comments please leave them down below y'all take care i'll see you in the next video